at the beginning, try to explain her, try to respect her fears and her feelings and emotions and don't press her to do exactly how you want and how maybe want even your parents or your friends because of course he will feel not confident from the first time until she knows exactly and she's sure that everybody likes her and she's accepted in your family. So. The third also very important main thing is just to be an isolated housekeeper. You know, uh, lots of Ukrainian women can share with you experience about their ex-boyfriends or ex-husbands when they spend hours, days and weeks at home alone, waiting for her husband, maybe working, maybe hanging around with his friends, drinking beer, watching football somewhere, or just waiting for him until he is not willing to come back home because he is boring, he doesn't want to hear uh, screams and shouts of children, he doesn't want to be involved in uh, domestic problems, in all this housekeeping, you know, some man is just the type of that person. So if she used to have this in her past, of course she doesn't want to continue the same lifestyle and she would like to improve the situation, it doesn't mean she doesn't want to cook, to clean, to wash, to take care about children and to do all the stuff about the house. No, okay, she is, of course she will do it, be sure, but still, if you're busy, if you're a businessman, if you travel lots and if you're going to leave her alone in your, in her house, in your house and she will be just isolated without knowing language, maybe without friends, she will feel really desperate and of course after a few months of such sitting at home she can just realize and to be disappointed that her choice wasn't correct and wasn't appropriate and she can feel her just a slave. But guys, if you need a housekeeper, uh, maybe it's better to hire a housekeeper or to buy a dog and to hire the person who will take care about dog if you want just somebody to wait you at house all the time and uh, that's it. So no need to bring women from here to there just to take care about your house because uh, our women already they know what they want, they know what they had in the past and of course they don't want repetition of bad experience. So remember about this as well and also if you can help her about the house please do it. At least if it's something small if she is preparing supper, you can always vacuum cleaning or if she is washing the floors, you can play with children at the same moment in order not to make her confused that she needs to spend time with her children and she needs to do lots about the house, she needs to cook, she needs to wash. So you are not disabled, right? You have your legs, you have your hands, so you can always help her. Don't make all domestic, all housekeeping problems only on her shoulders. Help her, at least somehow, as much as you can. And believe me, she will appreciate it greatly and she will be very thankful for you and she will consider you as the best man if you can help her about the house. The fourth, one of the most important fears of Ukrainian ladies is domestic violence. I guess, guys, even no need to explain a lot about this because all of you are aware how it's going on and like Ukrainian men very often beat and hits children and wives and you know this kind of strange situation I notice that if the woman in her first marriage or first relations, previous relations, she was beaten, um, abused by her husband, very high percentage that she will be in the same type of relations in her next family or next relations. I don't know why, I think these people just have victims psychology, they cannot live by other style and uh, always man who is much stronger, he feels her weakness and not maybe at the beginning but with the time he start to abuse her. So all women afraid to be abused and afraid of domestic violence. So, of course, I cannot tell you, guys, don't beat your wives, guys, be a good guys and kind and never hit your children 
it's obvious, uh, no need to tell you this, but also sometimes women can think about this, especially if she had this experience in her past. So take care about this moment as well. The fifth and also very important main fear of Ukrainian ladies in the marriage with a foreign guy will be missing Ukraine, her motherland and her family's relatives and friends. And you guys need to be prepared for this. And also uh, this moment is very important. Why? Because you need to be prepared financially. Uh, because not, nobody going to move thousand kilometers away and never come back to see her friends, relatives and colleagues maybe, former or something else, doesn't matter, especially if her parents still there or brothers and sisters, you know, she will always think about if her mom is or dad is sick or maybe she has like a heart attack or something and person needs urgently to come back to take care about her closest people you need to get ready to this, to be ready for this, and you need to allow her to do this. And it, it mustn't be a financial issue. Nobody tells that Ukrainian lady needs to visit her country every three months. Of course, if you are a super rich guy and you can afford this, that's no problem at all. And she would be probably happy. But as far as I know, like a uh, common fact, people who move abroad, they usually try to get home at least once a year, oh, maybe once in two years. But you need to be ready for this and you cannot forbid her to miss her motherland. You know, personally, I have been living in a foreign country many times, in different countries. I have this experience and I know exactly what I'm talking about. When I have been living eight years in a foreign country, of course, we had phones to call my mom, my friends, whatever, but, uh, you know, there is some uh, specific period of time. If I'm not mistaken, after one year of living in foreign country, you start to miss your country awfully. Even if you're ready to fly thousand kilometers from Ukraine, if you're not satisfied with life conditions, if you hate the government, and if you hate the people, culture, mentality, whatever, doesn't matter, guys. After one year, even if you're very happy and you feel at home in that foreign country, this period will come one day and then you feel like you even start hating speaking foreign language, watching just foreign language TV programs, eating your local food, but not traditional Ukrainian. And in that moment, People start to miss every little thing reminding about their motherland. Even sky looks to be different. Even air smells different. You know, these faces, language, uh, music, whatever, doesn't matter. You can tell me. We have internet, we have different facilities. You can even have lots of shops where you can buy traditional Ukrainian food or whatever they need to come back sometimes to their motherland to attend her environment and her family. Please don't forget about this and be please very respectful to this fear. So I also recommend you guys to discuss this topic with her before your marriage when you're ready to make her proposal and when you know you're going to have plans for her in the future. So please just let her know if she even didn't ask you to do this, but just let her know. I understand this is your native country. You're going to live here everything. It's completely another different life in completely new environment. No friends, nobody next to her, only you, but still uh, you don't know each other for 100%. And you need to be very careful in this moment. If she miss her country, if she start to be nostalgic, you know, please take care about her. Be understanding and careful. And if it's okay, let her know that you wouldn't uh, try to not to let her go to her country, to visit her friends, to communicate with them how much she wants. And you will be also always ready to support her in these decisions. So I think this is clear and obvious and uh, everybody understands what I meant in this part. So the next one, which is very important, but it's connected with the previous one. And uh, when the woman is afraid that she won't be able to come back to her country, unless if her 
uh, marriage will fail her. So, of course, she will try to protect herself before marriage and probably she will do this marriage contract, marriage agreement. And I can tell you that every wise and smart, not, every, not even woman, every person needs to have plan B. So, she needs to be prepared. She needs to have maybe some money on her deposit. Uh, it doesn't mean that if she has an apartment, she needs to sell it in Ukraine because in case your marriage will be broken, uh, she can come back and she can continue her life here. But please understand here, um, because it's a very serious step for every person, not even for women and not even for Ukrainian women. Even men, if he decides to move to another country, he will never do it like... He, of course, will prepare like exit, you know, plan B. And please be understandable about this point as well. So the woman will always worry how your parents, which is old traditional people, will accept her. Because maybe of the difference of culture, maybe she doesn't want to use some specific clothes uh, which is using in your traditions, or maybe uh, some family traditions, you know, like, for example, let's say in Turkey, just as an example, uh, when the woman is getting acquainted with the mom of future husband, she needs to kiss her hand. Sorry, guys, for Ukrainian people, it's unacceptable. We never kiss hands of our moms. Why I should kiss the hand of woman? Okay, maybe she is your mother, but it's still not acceptable for us. It's it's it looks strange. So please don't be pushy. Don't force events and understand her. It's the same like if you come to her country and she will make you to do the things which you never used to do and which looks strange for you. So maybe she needs just time. Maybe she will accept your religion and your tradition. That doesn't matter. But at the beginning, try to explain her, try to respect her fears and her feelings and emotions and don't press her to do exactly how you want and how maybe want even your parents or your friends because of course he will feel not confident from the first time until she knows exactly and she's sure that everybody likes her and she's accepted in your family. So be careful about this moment as well. Okay guys?